Something amazing happens when you stop manually drawing trend lines and let automation take the wheel. What you get is this clean, intelligent layer of structure, perfectly aligned, no second guessing, and it reacts as the market shifts. Today, we're using a trendline-based tool that literally maps out three layers of trend lines for you, long, medium, and short-term, and it updates them live. You don't need to draw anything, just read the levels and follow structure. But without wasting any time, let me show you on the trading chart. First of all, open trading view. I will be using this throughout the video. Choose a trading market and time frame of your choice. The concept is same in general. Then open the indicators tab from here and here type in trend line breakout navigator by Lux Algo. It is going to be this one created by Lux Algo. Add it to your trading chart. You'll see that your screen's gonna light up with multiple trend lines. You'll see solid lines, dashed lines, and dotted lines all over the trading chart. These are the long-term, medium-term, and short-term trend lines, respectively, each giving you a different layer of market structure. The solid line represents the major trend. Dashed is the mid-level flow, and dotted lines capture those fast, short-term moves. All these lines start from significant swing highs or lows and adjust automatically based on new price action. No need to redraw anything manually, it does the hard work for you. Now look out for the blue and orange dots that appear along these lines. A blue dot means price poked through a bullish trend line, just as we can see over here, but didn't close below it, kind of like a bounce attempt. And an orange dot means the same thing on the bearish side, price coming close and touching a bearish trend line but failing to close above it. These are signals that the price bounced back from here. Not entries on their own, but they give you great heads up moments where something's reacting to structure. Bar color is also part of the package. If the candle closes above the long-term trend line, as we can see over here, your bars go green in color. If it closes below, they turn red in color. The shade gets darker if the price is above or below the other trend lines, giving you a quick sense of depth, like how strong the trend actually is. Then there is this other component of this indicator. There's also a background color you can turn on. If price breaks above a bearish trend line or confirms a higher high, the background turns green. If it breaks below a bullish trend line or confirms a lower low, it turns red in color. It's a fast visual cue to keep you in sync with structure shifts. Now let's see if we need to do any changes in the settings of this indicator. You can open the settings from here. Do you feel like everyone around you benefits from artificial intelligence but you have no idea where to start? Don't wait any longer, start today. Our free trading bot is simple to use, powered by artificial intelligence and can earn you up to 1% profit every single day. Over 500 members have already joined. Click the link below now to get free access. This is your chance to harness the power of AI and take a step toward a financial boost. First is the period setting. This one lets you base your trend lines off data from a higher time frame. So you can be on a 15 min chart, but plot four hour trend lines. That's super useful for multi time frame setups. It can go up to 5,000 bars back for each trend line, long, medium, and short term, so you get plenty of historical context. Then you've got swing length. This controls how far back the indicator looks to detect swing highs and lows. If you set it higher, you'll get more significant trend lines, longer term, and more reliable. Lower settings make it more reactive and short-term focused. You can also fully customize the colors for bullish and bearish trend lines. And yes, you can tweak the colors of those blue and orange bounce dots too. Another key setting is term selection. This links the background color and HHLL labels to one of the three trend line types, long, medium, or short-term, depending on which structure you care most about. You can toggle the HH and LL swing labels on or off and decide if you want it to show just the latest or keep previous ones too. Personally, I like to leave my trend lines linked to a higher time frame. So if I'm trading 15 minute, I'll set the period to one hour or four hour to get that broader structure on the chart. Then I use the short term trend lines as confirmation triggers. Let's go over some real chart examples now. Two buy trades and two sell trades so you can actually see how to use this indicator properly. I'll explain each condition step-by-step, step, where the entry happens, 
where to place stop loss and take profit, and I'll share some useful tips along the way. In this first example, we're on the 30-minute chart. The price has been falling for a while, but then it breaks above long-term downward trend line. That's this bearish trend line. That's the first thing we want to see, a clean breakout above the line. Right after the breakout, the background of the chart turns green. This is important. It means the indicator is detecting a possible shift in structure, like a break in the downtrend. That's our confirmation. So once we see all of this, we enter the trade at the close of the breakout candle. The stop loss goes just a little bit below the recent swing low. We don't need much room. For the take profit, we target a risk to reward ratio of two ratio one, or you can target a bit less. That depends on you. Don't enter just because price breaks a trend line. Always wait for the background to confirm. And if you also check if a blue dot appears, that will be your strongest confirmation. But adding that confirmation will result in less entries. Here we can see we could have even gotten a risk to reward ratio of 5.5. But now here's another example. Here we can see that the price is slowly moving up and then we see a candle break above the long-term bearish trend line. That's our first condition. After that, the background changes its color to a darker green. That tells us we've closed above multiple trend line levels, which is strong confirmation. So here we can enter the trade on the close of the candle that breaks out. You can wait for a small pullback if you want a better entry. Stop loss goes just below the recent swing low. This is just a simple way you can use this indicator. Combined with other indicators, this indicator can really do wonders. This one reached a three risk to reward ratio with very little drawdown. When you get a breakout plus a blue dot and the background changes color, those are high probability trades. You can be confident, but still manage your risk. All right, now let's look at a sell example. Here we can see that the price is slowly moving down and then we see a candle break above the long-term bearish trend line. That's our first condition. At the same time, the background changes to red. That means the indicator has detected a possible shift in market direction from up to down. So here we enter the trade when the candle closes below the trend line. Stop loss goes just above the recent swing high. For take profit, we can also look at the next support zone or a fixed risk to reward ratio would also work. A breakout without background confirmation can be risky. Make sure you wait for both the trend line break and the red background before pulling the trigger. So yeah, this tool gives you structure, trend lines, breakout signals, bounce reactions, and momentum context all live and all automated. Look at this. This was an amazing signal given by the indicator. <laughs> it's not a standalone system, but paired with your own strategy, smart money concepts, or price action, it gives you a super strong edge. If this video helped you out, drop a like and subscribe for more setups, breakdowns, and tools. I'll see you guys in the next video.